What's up, fruitful investors? In today's video, I'll be talking about multifamily properties in Kitchener, Waterloo, and Cambridge, and is it a good time to buy? So as you guys know, I love, love, love big multifamily properties. So in this video, I'm talking about six units or more, commercial, residential, real estate. I love these properties because it's all business-based, it's all about money, it's all about increasing rents, lowering expenses, and it's also a very long-term business. It takes time to flip these buildings around, to get the tenants out, to increase the rents. It's like a chess game, and that's what I love. I love strategic real estate. It's also a pretty boring avenue of real estate when it comes to values and changes in the economy. So if the economy changes with a recession, if the real estate cycle starts to change, multifamily feels those changes much slower. It's much more gradual as opposed to residential where they feel the changes very quickly because we're dealing with emotional buyers, right? We're buying our own personal homes. We're more emotional about it. We don't want to overpay. When the market's changing, we lose our jobs. It really affects that avenue of real estate. With multifamily, it's not so much. When there's a recession, you know, it feels it much slower because it's much more business-based. It's all about investors buying these properties, not the regular public who are very emotional. So the first reason why it's a good time to buy large apartment buildings in Kitchener-Waterloo is that home buyers are being priced out of the market here, as with the most of Ontario, but here specifically we're feeling it a lot because real estate has increased in value a lot in the past two years, so that alone is pricing out a lot of people, but right now, interest rates keep going up and up and up, making mortgages much more expensive. So first time home buyers specifically are getting really hurt by this because they want to buy a home, they saved up the money, but they're not able to buy the type of home that they would like to. So they have to live somewhere, right? So they're renting the majority of the time. And because the first time home buyers have a limited budget already, they tend to rent in multifamily buildings. So they're renting apartments. So this is a really great avenue to capitalize on as real estate investors right now, as the market is changing and people are getting priced out of the market, uh, they're being forced to rent. The second reason why you wanna buy multifamily properties now is that the residential market has slowed a lot. It's not like it was in 2016 and 2017 where you know we were seeing double digit appreciation rates. The residential market has slowed down a lot, which is great because the apartment building sector, the commercial real estate sector has slowed down even more because there are so many less investors now trying to get in the business when the market is hot, they watch too much HGTV, you know, we're competing with even less investors now um, in the, res or the, sorry, the commercial apartment building sector because they're no longer in the market, they're out. You know, the market has got too expensive for them. And also all the would-be investors who are trying to get in the market, they think the commercial market has also gotten hit by the changes in interest rates. They also think that when the recession comes, you know, the commercial apartment building sector is gonna get smoked just like the residential market will. It is not the case. As I said at the beginning of this video, commercial uh, real estate is much slower to feel the effects of a recession. Like I said, it's a much more long-term business. You guys always hear me talk about how when you're buying single family properties, you must be thinking five, 10 years you know, ahead before you buy these properties. When we're buying buildings, you know, it's a 15 to 20 to 25 year vision. We want long term. How can we flip this building over? How can we change with the area as the infrastructure of the area changes? It is a much different, you know, uh, view of real estate. And a lot of these investors are leaving because the residential market is getting slower. They also feel that the commercial market is getting slower. And it's really not for those who are in the know. To the regular Joe investors out there, it looks like it is. And it kind of is because they're leaving the market, but there's more deals for us. We can get better prices. We can get better cap rates, which is just all good around for Kitchener-Waterloo real estate investors. The third reason why multifamilies are great right now is because rents have increased enormously. Because of this real estate boom over the past two years, you know, prices of homes have increased, but also rents have. But because most people can't buy homes anymore, they're being forced to rent, we have this big flood of renters trying to find homes in the Kitchener Waterloo market with very limited inventory. So that, that alone is skyrocketing rents as well. So if you have an apartment building, uh, you have a unit that's renovated nicely. If you, you can watch my videos and see how I renovate my units, you know, they're very high end. Uh, if, if you provide units like that, 
I mean, you're gonna get the rent you're asking for very easily. I, I'm renting my properties right now with my partners and I, and it's like easier than ever. We're getting multiple applications on all of them because our units look nice. They're very nicely renovated and they attract a sophisticated renter. So if you're renovating your multifamily properties for the purpose of refinancing, right? We wanna raise the rent, refinance at a higher value, which is the whole strategy of multifamily investing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can see my multifamily beginner tips uh, on this channel. I have a ton of videos on how we do multifamily investing properly. So there's no better time, honestly, to buy buildings where the rents are just skyrocketing and tenants are getting desperate. So you wanna renovate those units, take advantage of the market, get high rents, uh, get super high cash flow, get, get that net operating income as high as we can, and then refinance the building, pull the money out, pay your partners off, etc. There's no better time, honestly, than right now to do this. Rents are awesome and tenants are getting fairly desperate, unfortunately, or fortunately for us. The fourth reason is that multifamily properties are built on cap rates. So going off number three, with the rents increasing, it's all about the cap rates when you're investing in multifamily properties. So because we're getting higher rents, because we can increase the NOI, you know, it's pushing down our cap rates when we want to sell, which is exactly what we want to do. And even if we don't sell at a lower cap rate than what we bought at, just because you can increase the net operating income by a lot just because of the rent increases, you're still gonna make a ton of money. And I show all the uh, examples of this in my multifamily for beginners video, which I'll link somewhere around here. If you don't exactly know what I'm talking about, you know, the strategies that we use in multifamily are very different when it comes to making money. In single family properties like homes like this, right? We wanna renovate it, get a nice quality tenant in, ride it out, and then sell it to an emotional buyer, you know, three, five, seven years down the road. With multifamily, it's just all about income. We wanna get uh, more tenants in that will pay a higher rent, increase that NOI, and then refinance that building and pull our money out. That's the whole strategy of multifamily. We don't really wanna sell them or flip them. We can do that, but the main purpose is for you to keep them forever and get your money back. So we renovate, 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 jack up the rent, refinance, pull the money out, and then keep that building for 15, 20, 25 years. Like I said, very, very long term. And the fifth and final reason why it's a good time to buy multifamily properties in Kitchener Waterloo is that our market here is very, very steady. We have a lot of jobs and a lot of industries. As I've said many times on this channel, a lot of people don't know, but the majority of our workforce in KWC is actually manufacturing. Almost 60% of our jobs are manufacturing based in some way. Either they're straight manufacturing or we have a, a very big trade industry which kind of you know piggybacks on the manufacturing. Because we're uh, in between Toronto and London and Windsor, we're kind of like a shipping depot towards all of these bigger cities, Hamilton over here. So Kitchener Wild has a lot of trade jobs, a lot of manufacturing jobs. We also have a lot of uh, insurance company jobs. We have the tech industry, a huge education industry with University of Waterloo and Laurier and Constable College. So we have a very diverse uh, job industry, which is what I always talk about on my channel when it comes to Kitchener Waterloo. This is the main reason why I love this area and one of the main reasons why it's rated as one of the best areas in Ontario, if not Canada, to be investing in because it's pretty much as recession proof as we can get. If one area gets hit, like manufacturing, uh, normally gets hit first in a recession with the auto jobs, right? There's still a lot of other jobs and industries to pick up that load should that happen. So look back to 2008, 2009. If you live in Kitchener Waterloo or you study Kitchener Waterloo, what happened here in 2008, 2009? Nothing, pretty well nothing. There were so many jobs to pick up the load when manufacturing got hit. Uh, the workforce here had a little bit of a dip, but it recovered very, very quickly. And look at BlackBerry. When BlackBerry went under uh, 2011, 2012, I think it was around then, a lot of people thought Kitchen Waterloo was doomed. It was done for. We lost one of our biggest industries, one of our biggest players to provide jobs. Again, almost nothing happened when BlackBerry went under because we're such a diverse industry. There's lots of jobs, and what actually happened is a lot of other tech companies came and capitalized on BlackBerry's demise and started a bunch of other jobs. So almost nothing happens in Kitchener Waterloo. I don't wanna say nothing will ever happen, but we're so recession proof because of all the jobs in the different industries. We're not relying on one industry alone, which is something I always talk about. When you're looking to invest in an area, for me, never ever invest in a one hit pony town. 
Never invest in an area where manufacturing is the only uh, industry or the main industry, for example, or if education is the only industry. You never wanna do something like that. I always like a diverse area, like I said, where if one industry gets hit, no big deal. There's a bunch of other jobs to pick up the load for those who might have lost their job or who got laid off. So that's the video. I hope you learned something. If you liked it, please click like right below. It goes a long way to helping these videos get more views. And if you're interested in investing in a kitchen waterloo area, either multifamily or single family, definitely contact me because I am a real estate agent that specializes solely with real estate investing. That's all I do, real estate investing full time. I do not sell mom and dad's house with a white picket fence like a regular realtor. I don't even touch those. 100% of my sales are real estate investing. And I also own at the moment of this video, 19 properties. So I'm obviously very obsessed with real estate investing. It's my life, I love it. So that's why you should contact me if you're working in the area. I'll see you in the next video.